<laughs> Never seen anything like that. Never. Um, it was unbelievable. A defense that is tough. And they move. They're so loud. They're so quick. It's hard to find gaps. And some things were blocked extremely well. Some things weren't blocked perfectly. The guys were just staying on guys. You guys know that. If they can just maintain contact, Bryce has a chance uh, to break it. But, I mean, I was with Jamal Lewis, the Oakland Ravens, or the uh, Baltimore Ravens, the guys that we've had here. I mean, I just, I'm not saying he's the best one that's been through here. I'm not starting that right now. But at the same time, uh, I've never seen anything that would happen today. And it was on the questions. Coach, did you have a favorite Bryce Love run today? Hopefully the next long touchdown. Um, and just take your pick and the first one. I mean, I thought he was pushed out of balance. That balance and that tightrope walk and keep your speed and stay in balance. Um, and then another couple of clean ones. And once he breaks through the line, I just have never seen anybody get hit and stumble and then get back up to full speed. I've just never seen that before. It's unbelievable. Uh, Coach, was, was Keller Chris uh, clear or not? What was his situation uh, this week? Uh, it was a wise decision for us to hold him. Uh, it was probably close to being ready, uh, but we we're not going to take chances like that. But as far as the doctors were concerned, it was okay for him to play? Uh, like I said, it was close. Okay, so uh, if he's okay this week, who will start next week? I, I'm going to ask you that. I know I'm, I'm that's right. I can predict your answer, but I'd like to hear you say it. Go ahead and answer. No, this, this week hasn't ended, so we'll start talking about next week tomorrow. Is, what is wrong with uh, Nate Kirby? You know, he should be okay next uh, next week. And it's kind of a late week thing that came on. Uh, you know, just a, kind of a medical thing. He, was, he thought he was going to be able to go, and then he was in a lot of pain yesterday. Um, still wanted to try to go, so we went to warm up this morning, and he just couldn't go. Um, he should be okay uh, for, for next week. But we'll see though. He should be fine. Uh, I just want to know that. I'm curious why you used Ryan Burns on a third and 38. Was that going to be a long bomb that, that he was that, that he was capable of throwing, or what was the reason that he was in? It was it was a quarterback throw. This is a quarterback throw. Just trying to get some yards back. Um, Ryan's big and fast. If he gets lane, he might be able to get some more. Maybe get a fourth and short, but third and long. Uh, hopefully, to get them to play soft like we did. We missed one block. At my house, at least in my I'm wondering, Coach, if you knew when they announced over the PA that he had broken the record that he actually had not yet broken the record. Did you know that at the time? I had no idea. I, I just I heard people cheering, and I figured that's what it was, but I really didn't care because we're still in the middle of the game. Um, you know, it's nice when those things happen and we've got a big lead or something, but uh, if it's not a big lead, I hear people cheering. I have an idea what it was, but I didn't really care at the time. Dude. We all look at Bryce's big runs, the long runs, and everything. But on that last year, I had that 11 yard where he got the record, where he's dragging three guys before he had a 20 yard where at the end he's near going out of bounds and he has the wherewithal to stay in there. But those little type of runs that are critical, do they sometimes get overlooked by people outside your program with Bryce? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and the teams that we're going to play, uh, they always make comments uh, also because it's. The big ones are obvious, everybody can see those, but it's the four yard run that he makes an 11 yard run. You know, it's the one that could be three yards or, or hitting the back field that ends up being nine yards. Um, that's the hidden yards that great backs do. Uh, once again, for not being the biggest guy, he runs physical, he runs tough, he breaks tackles, he gets through people, um, and if he gets in the clear, he's gone. Coach, some ups, some downs, but some big plays from the defensive side of the football. How would you sum up their day? You know, uh, I think offensively and defensively, once again, our calling card, we played hard. Uh, we, there were a couple of opportunities we had to, to make this game a little bit easier on all of us. Um, and we needed to stop a little bit earlier in that, in that in the game defensively, but our guys kept fighting. Um, you know, our guys up front, the front seven, we hit the quarterback a lot. We sacked him a couple of times. We put pressure on him. We didn't move. Um, this guy's showing up. He can stay clean in the pocket. He can break it down the field. He's going to throw over 300 yards a game. Uh, make it big plays down the field, so thankfully we didn't let them get too comfortable in the pocket. The guys in the secondary played really, really well. Uh, you know, give a lot of credit to Alan Murphy, who had to hold up by himself outside until we got Elijah back. Uh, but our guys defensively played really, really well. Coach, how would you assess uh, Costello's play in this game? 
He didn't have the numbers, but he did have a couple of really sharp passes on the money. Oh, I, I thought he played well. The guy who he was making a start, uh, first start in his career, but he played really well, played really smart, uh, handled a lot of force. Uh, he loved it, one of those fade balls back in the first half. Um, I think he makes a little bit better throw. We, we go with the touchdowns and the field goal. Um, but besides that, he made some big time throws to JJ, one for a touchdown, another for a big game, he gets down there. He made some nice throws uh, to King Smith and to our tight ends inside. Um, you know, uh, it's nice to see that those guys make some plays for him. And that's the thing, when you get a young quarterback, that's going to make plays for him. It's not putting it all on the young quarterbacks who ran the ball, they played really well over an offensive line wise, and they had great protection, not good protection, one of our best protection games, and we ran the ball extremely well. Uh, the quarterback played well, and at the end of the game, when you talk about the impact of having uh, a line under come back and seeing the right away, you guys were maybe more comfortable going to three down line and suddenly they weren't able to run the ball effectively and got a lot of free outs in the third quarter shut them out. Well, the biggest thing was Coach Anderson doing a great job just mixing it up. And this is a team, if they get an idea of what you're doing, uh, they can uh, so us. Mixing up our calls, mixing up our personal things, mixing up our signals. I'll uh, try to keep them off balance a little bit, um, just so our guys can, can uh, be effective. Um, if, you, if you stand that against those guys, uh, we've seen what they can do to people. So they got a big receiver, they've got a really good running back, that's an NFL back. Um, they got an athletic quarterback that got out a couple of times, thanks to we kept him, thankfully we kept him at bay. Uh, we got a great big chance for and just mixing up our calls and things. Just on your first viewing of the game, what's uh, what are some of the bigger things that need to get cleaned up between now and heading on the road? Um, that's a big box with everything in it. Uh, I thought we took a nice step forward. Even without me, it was tough, but we took a step forward uh, on the offensive line and we played on probably the best game of the year up front. Um, you know, but we've got to continue to get other backs involved. You know, uh, we can't put the entire load on Bryce and we're doing a heck of a job. Cameron Scarlett's an able bottom back. It's Good job. We've got an opportunity to have a couple of nice runs today. Uh, we've got to mix it up there, but I think we can get more out of our receiving pool. These guys are blocking really, really well. They're working hard. Uh, they're making some plays. Great play by Tom Stewart early in the game, also on the sidelines. He's just coming to his own. JJ or Sega Whiteside will see if he's ready to go next week. Probably not. Um, Trent and Irwin, uh, you know, Kate is a tight end. Dalton needs some plays in the passing game. Connor Weddington. So we've got a good group of guys who will continue to develop and grow and learn. We don't have a senior in the group. These are all two juniors and a whole bunch of sophomores and freshmen. Uh, so we got a good group of guys who are going to continue to, to develop. Um, but because they're, they're great confident to Bryce and there's more people, we try to work the box, we're still running. But we're going to have a chance to have outside and the slot one on one, so we have to win. Coach, uh, they run a lot of direct snap stuff earlier in the year. They did it with three different people, I think, today. Were you surprised or disappointed how effective they were with that in the first half, especially? Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, we loaded the box, we had a bunch of guys in there. They did a really good job executing. The second half was much better for us. You know, we guys got out of the box, we guys had squeezed their, their, their running runs. That's the thing, it's one thing to be blocked, but we get blocked and it's too wide, but if we can squeeze that running lane and make it harder to get through, which our guys did a great job in the second half, they'll die around, uh, die around rounds and beat us on the so these guys about uh, pushing those, those, uh, those holes tighter uh, and getting penetration, and we're able to do that in the second half. Thanks everyone, appreciate it. Thank you.